Okay, we are in a sync mode, sync mode, sync mode. That's sync. Alrighty, yeah, dog, yeah, dog, yeah, dog, yeah, dog, literally, dog. Alright, three, two, one. Alright, what up, dogs? Well, today we got a nice little ad for you. We got two, and it's a battle between paw licking goodness. And uh, they're going to be comparing, we're going to be comparing which ad did it better. Now we got one influencer ad and we got kind of another one with the veterinarian in it. He's kind of funny, he's kind of kooky. And so yeah, go enjoy this. Shouldn't most owners wish they'd asked sooner? Why does my dog lick their paws so much? Well, the root cause of this seemingly innocent behavior might shock you. You see, nice paw licking disrupt. often has nothing to do with the condition of your dog's paws. It's actually your dog's way of trying to soothe any discomfort they're feeling, and is often the first signal that they're dealing with a deeper issue, poor gut health. You see, when your dog's gut is overrun with bad bacteria, it can lead to a whole host of issues, including worse environmental allergies, dry and itchy skin, and even stiff joints. All three of these conditions cause your pup to experience irritation, itchiness, and aching, which causes them to pollock excessively to try and soothe their body's discomfort. So what can you do to look after your dog's gut health and their excessive pollocking? Well, it's never been simpler thanks to this. Now, this might look just like a regular dog chew, but it's not. It's a unique probiotic supplement that contains over over a billion unit of good gut bacteria, meaning it can actively support your dog's gut health to keep them healthy and happy. Owners across the country have been seeing incredible results with their pup's overall health and reduction in paw licking. I came across an ad for Pet Lab. Pet this lab. is my favorite part. Pet Lab. Pet, pet lab. lab. Pet Lab. Pet Lab. So I figured pet I'd lab. give it a try. It's really amazing how much his pollocking has already decreased. His skin is great, his fur has grown back. He was so relieved that they were relieved. So thank you, Pet Lab. So if you want to keep your dog healthy, happy, and active, then click the blue Learn More button on screen now. There is always a huge surge in demand for these unique chews during the summer months when allergies and pollocking are at their worst. So don't let your pup miss out. Claim your 25% off discount by clicking the blue Learn More button on screen now. Your pup will thank you. I don't know what it is with me and uh, the gut lab or gut bacteria, but lately I've just been on a gut bacteria grind. If your dog is excessively licking his or her paws, and uh, let's 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 pause that real quick because uh, the reason I like this ad is because it just disrupts you from your day, right? Yeah, you're always thinking, oh, the dog's just licking his uh, paws. And there's nothing wrong with that, you know. And then now you're like, oh. <laughs> there might be a problem with that so you're obviously gonna pay attention for the next video because you're like or for the fucking time on you're gonna keep watching you're gonna keep watching because you're like oh i thought that was a normal thing you know my dog licking and now it's like a huge problem and so now you're gonna have to want to take action and check your dog out but let's go check this guy out he's kind of kooky then you need to watch this video He's got a little intro too. You know, I'm glad we're doing this. It's such a good Friday. He's all up in your face, and we're having a fun Friday. Hello, you guys. Friday. Welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, welcome. If you've yet to do so, I encourage you to click somewhere down there, subscribe to my channel. And for those of you who want even more of me, I know I'm now doing weekly live streams. And if you click the link in the box below, you can get more information. It's springtime here in Nelson flowers, birds, the sounds of a chainsaw. Yes, there's all those good things about spring, but there is one thing that many of you as a dog owner may not appreciate, and that's the advent of excessive paw licking. It's super common, especially this time of year, and as you can see, Pippi here is doing exactly what we want her not to be doing. Dude, you're not in So focus. for the majority of dogs who have this, where they're excessively licking their paws, I mean, the first big thing I say is like, just check them. Do a basic exam. Just make sure there isn't some... How do you get the dog to lick her, his paws? In, between your, ...in your dog's pad, in between the digits. I mean, have a good look. All right, Pipster. The most common cause by far is dog allergies. Your dog is having some type of allergic reaction, be it to food, be it to something environmental, such as what's happening now with the spring. We have all this pollen. C 
causing them to itch and it's just showing up as excessive paw licking. But secondarily, many of these dogs have an underlying yeast infection. So what happens is that they've got an, a primary allergy causing their skin to react. Secondarily, yeast can overgrow, making them very itchy. So this is my anti-paw licking foot soak. So what you're gonna need is one cup of green tea. So I've used oh, one I love tablespoon this guy. of loose green tea leaves. I feel like green tea really solves it. I put it everything. in about two cups of water in the bottom. <laughs> you wanna let it sit for about 15 to 20 minutes till it cools down. Cool enough that it's comfortable to touch to your skin. A cup for me. Oh yeah, my mom and has those cups. A cup for Pippi's foot. Or your dog's foot. I swear, green tea just cures everything. <laughs> so we're using two tablespoons. We of watched this. that last time. It we're like, yeah, just green tea. So especially while it being anti yeast, and we know that is a problem with many of the dogs that have excessive paw licking and primary skin allergies. Third in this wonderful smelling concoction, we're going to have one tablespoon of salt. Here is. Nice Himalayan salt from the co-op. Just plain old sodium chloride. Like the dog. <laughs> oh, this is great, man. Fourth, we're gonna add 10 drops of lavender essential oil. I especially like the essential oils from Young Living based on the quality of the product, how well it works. Is it, am I tripping or is this guy out of focus all the time? It's been backed up by research. So we're just gonna mix this all together. The cup of green tea, the two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar, the one tablespoon of salt, and the ten drops of lavender essential oil. Oh. And now that I've added in the lavender oil, it actually smells pretty good. Okay, Pipster, let's try the foot. Pipster! So here's my cup or so of fluid. Just want to immerse your dog's toes in it. He's like, what the heck, man? Oh, baby. Okay. This thing smells so weird. You want to ideally leave that for a full five minutes. If your dog has any type of open wound, don't use this because the apple cider vinegar can be quite irritating. I'd rather you just use something like the green tea as a soak first. Five minutes later, Pippi's foot is soaked. She actually has kind of a pleasant smell. Now let's just see, will she lick it or not? You can soak your dog's foot twice daily for seven days and then assess whether or not it's being effective. Thanks so much for watching this edition. So this wasn't really about gut bacteria, it was more about yeast bacteria on the paw. So two kind of different uh, solutions, but it just goes to show where you could get take one thing like paw licking as a problem and then turn it into two different things so it's a use problem or it's a chew problem where you're selling a product which it might be both because i think it's it is yeast in the stomach i don't know um uh, having said that it's just so yeah why doesn't every company have just a guy like this you know just or why doesn't every dentist veterinarian doctor do this kind of stuff it's so fun why is it so fun i don't <laughs> it's so fun to watch this guy's got so many videos he probably gets so much comments and people messaging him hey something's wrong with my dog and he's like oh yeah you gotta take him in boom easy like for a periodontist or someone a dentist like hey my my grandpa my grandpa is like chew it can't chew what do I do? And then you could, okay, a common problem with old people. And then just have fun with it. <laughs> like, this guy's having the time of his life. He plays with dogs and... Every business should do this, even construction. Like, oh, uh, the way you construct is this. Okay, three steps to having a good construction site. Three steps to making sure your building is uh, California approved, something like that. I don't know, but come on, man. I love this. I could watch. I could go into a rabbit hole with this, but uh, I won't. I think we're gonna have a very fun Friday today, and uh, that'll about wrap it up. So I appreciate you guys watching. 
Um, I hope you enjoyed. But I would like to know which ad do you think gave you more concern? The veterinarian? The oh, my girl right most- here. Which one? Huh? I think, personally, honestly, I'm going to have to go with him. If your dog is excessive... I don't know, just that credib- credibility... And if he was wanted to, if he wanted to go on and move on to sell his own products, he could kill it. One question, most. You know, and now Pet Lab Co is going to be out of the question. But that's it. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know in the comments what you liked, and if you like this video, please hit that smash button and and subscribe. So yeah, peace.